Cool, and let's see what this is. Main story. Oh, some rewards. Invitation to the Settlement Day celebration from the Sons of Caladon. Yes, we're back. All of these, let me wrap them up for you. Sorcerer, you mentioned you wanted some light-hearted movies. Ah, sorry, I got it wrong. It was a disaster documentaries. Oh, I see. I think something I haven't done yet. What was it again? Since Caesar sent a message earlier inviting us to the outer ring. Alright, sorry, I'll check you out right now. Well, I still watch the story. Head to the outer ring for and join old Enzo later for the test drive on his newly modified car. I'll head to the outer ring first, then see you tonight. It's arriving at Blaze, but you are unable to reach Caesar, but a familiar friend is just ahead. Oh. But well, let me make sure the audio is okay. Let's get a little bit more immersed, you know? Proxy, so you're here already. Just caught up with stuff for settlement days. So she sent me to come get you. Oh, cool. Oh, baseball is really lively. Oh, yeah, I was going to say something, but I didn't. About how many people are. The celebration is called settlement days. Well, it's like a festival. Mom, how should I put it? Go on. Let me give you an example. Say your gang gets into it with another gang. And you get sucker punched, but not long after the two gangs make peace. Okay. Can you still be a little pissed? Sure. Mm, yeah, not just a little pissed. I'd be mega mad. Exactly. Mega mad. That's what settlement days are for. In the outer ring, nobody. Is it mega like? Slide. I think boomers say. Though Caesar's the new overlord now. I feel like only boomers say that. Business between the gang members. They've got three days. More like really British people. <laughs> Uh, you know it's time to let it go and move on in these challenges both sides put something on the line kind of like a wager and winner takes all sounds serious Whoa, those duels sound intense but the people die hold on am i even supposed to be at something like this yeah it used to be pretty hardcore but it's much more chill this year after all caesar's not the type to hold grudges and no one will come looking for trouble this year's duels are mostly stuff like target shooting, rock, paper, scissors, tongue twisters, and the stakes are silly things like stale bread or a rabbit someone grabbed from their backyard. Oh, I just saw two gangs having okay. a contest over who had the longer cat. Longer cat? Um, sounds more like a fair. Pretty much, but hey, Caesar's having a blast, so I guess that's just the new Overlord's vibe. Since you're here, Proxy... If there's anything you're not happy about from our last job, now's the time to settle it. <laughs> I just remembered something. Things I'm not happy about. Hmm. Actually. Why are you looking at me like that? You're not holding a grudge against me, are you? What happened to Eos? You stepped on Eos's foot back in the hollow. Boy, that really hurt. Oh, really? Did he? Uh, uh, I don't so remember. Sorry, I'll watch where I'm stepping next time. <laughs> but hey, that's a perfect excuse for a nitro field drink off. What do you say, Proxy? You just want some nitro fuel, don't you? That's not true. <laughs> Actually, I don't do well with nitro fuel. It makes me dizzy. But Caesar told me to make sure you have a good time, so I wanted you to get the full experience of settlement days. Anyway, I'm wagering a Bang Boo Ether battery. And if I lose, Ooh. you can take it and give it to Eos as my apology. Yes. I will win. All right. Then I'll bet I need the 60 energy. Alright. I'll go queue up at Steel Tusk. There's gonna be a lot of people buying Nitro Field today. Take your time looking around. We'll meet up at Steel Tusk later. And Bonis must be busy then, eh? Lighter leaves. Hello. Well, look at this. Chistopia is like game business. She has like a whole thing going on in here, but they don't even know it. <laughs> yeah, like a fair that looks like, like boosting local business, you know? Because it looks like there's like some, uh, what do you call it, like tourism, maybe? Well, there's more people anyway. 
So I chased Topia's making money. And Bernice. With the natural fuel. Natural fuel lady. No, it's Bernice. Got you. So sorry, there's so many people buying natural fuel today. But since it's just the first day, people won't go this crazy. So I didn't stock up much. We run on nitro fuel. If you're just getting one cup, that's fine. But it'll be a bit difficult if you want that to do a contest. Remember we had a lot left earlier. Is it all gone already? That's pretty crazy. Not exactly. Just a lot of people were worried that they wouldn't have enough to drink tonight. So they came here to buy extra and stock up. Oh. If you're looking to do a contest, I can help you keep count. As for the nitro fuel, you might need to find a way to get some yourselves. On the way here, I actually saw some nitro fuel piled up. Why don't we split up a NASCAR proxy? Maybe someone will be willing to share some of us. Yes. Let's go. Hey, begging. Give me nitro fuel, please. Explain to her that you unlike her to do a nitro fuel concert, so you hope to purchase some nitro fuel from her. Then I'm just happy to look after them, sorry about that. I should manage to challenge them if you champion of the Sons of Cat to a Nitro Fuel contest later, so they bought a ton. Actually, I'm playing the other person card against Wait, she just said it's not her. Another guy. You're an undefeated champion's friend, aren't you? He told a bunch of people the afternoon that he was meeting an important friend, so he turned down a lot of challenges. I can only give you two bottles of Nitro Fuel, though. After all, I wasn't the one who paid for them. Anyway, I hope you have a great day in the auto ring. Oh, that's... If my friend gave my stuff away, that would be kind of weird. <laughs> you like? Lever boom. Let's go. Elevator. Time. Who's next? NPCs, man. Can look at this guy. Yo. That's the booze, bro. If I want to grab a drink. You mistake me for someone else? I don't even know. I don't even know you though. You need to know each other over a drink, because every day you meet someone new, so come on, I have uh, plenty of natural fuel to share. You let me know that you're looking for challenge lighter to a natural fuel contest, so you'd like to buy some drinks from him. Lighter, that never Isn't he the one with the rest scarf from the Sons of Khaled then? Yes. Well, then I need to be shy. Take as many as you want, or how many do you need? I can bring them right over. This doesn't seem right, does it? What's the problem? Just causing a treat for the most active champion in the outer ring. I heard that the red scarf for the Sun's Guard has never lost any duel. To have recruited such a powerful champion, it must be a really impressive gang. Then the leader of the Sun's Guard actually became the new overall this year. They're definitely not to be taken lightly. True. I'll bring the night to full over to you shortly so you can head back and wait. Yeah, this guy just wants to win some favors, eh? The Sun's Guard. Lever boot. Let's go. Please. I am back. And I won all the Nitro Fuel. So if you kiss his Nitro Fuel, title of Lanifian Champions is called Sansa Kai. That seems especially well regarded in Blazewood. Oh, you brought back all the Nitro Fuel. Let's kick things off. Let's kick things off now. I'll keep track for you. Alrighty, should we start now? Drink it all. Better drinks the nitrofuel in front of him in one go. Looks you're totally in the zone, how about another? That's just how good I am. Lighter drinks another can of nitrofuel, but a little slower this time. Am I winning? Proxy, I seem to have underestimated you. Another. Wow, oh, really Proxy, I'm full. Can you keep going? Then let's go for another. After dining a full cup of nitrofuel, Lighter slams his cup on the bar upside down, signaling that he can't go on. Then the nitrofuel lady announces Lighter has been defeated. Oh no. He's titled though. <laughs> Percy really caught me off guard, but the challenge is over. I gave you what was bet as promised. I thought accidentally stepping on Eos earlier. Please don't be angry anymore. The rule of settlement days. This is the challenge with lighter wraps up. Someone approaches. Well, I found you, the red scarf of the sons of Caledon. Ah, let me catch my breath. Ooh. I want to challenge you to the boxing match. Uh, I don't think I know you. Do we have any personal grudges to resolve on settlement days? Oh, uh, what? Um, I don't mind sparring with you. I've had too many challenges lately. If there aren't any old grudges to settle, how about we just... Oh, no, 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 I remember now. You rode your bike past my window before. I scared my cat making it fall from the wardrobe. 
Uh huh. I was finally trying to stamp a photo of my super cute cat trying to catch the light on the wall, but you ruined it. I'm going to buy my cat's photos and change it to a box match. What? No. Oh, is that so? Alright, I need to warm up a bit. I'll bet a can of cat food and accept your challenge. <laughs> oh, he's so stupid. Alright, Proxy. I'll go warm up. Is anyone going to Jerusalem for a challenge? Um, I know settlement days challenges are usually not too serious, but does this one count too? Well, for cat people, their cats are like family. So if they miss out on cute moments for whatever reason, it could be something they'd regret for a long time. So this challenge is valid. Okay. I'm ready to accept it and make amends. By the way, did you buy the nitro fuel raffle ticket? What's that? Nitro fuel raffle ticket? What's that? Sounds fun. It's just a little extra fun to spice things up. You can buy tickets from the nitro fuel vendor. It's just a little it's extra fun. I like the way you said that. Starts. And by the way, if you bet on me, oh, you'll have all the nitro fuel you can drink tonight. All right. All right. Bet. Backing you later. Just wait and see, Proxy. The champion will rake in some serious winning. Why is he like jinxing it? And I feel like he's gonna lose everything and be sad and lose his title, and then or something serious is gonna happen at the end that he reclaims it because he saved everyone. Or he's just gonna win, and that's gonna be the story, and we live happily after ever after. Maybe. Fuel coupons. Sizzling hot nitro fuel coupons. Only 500 denies each. Fill up for your favorite competitor. Lighter. And with the nitro fuel coupons you purchase can be redeemed for double the amount of nitro fuel. I'll take five. Yeah. Old set. If here's your nitro fuel coupons for him, make sure to keep them safe. Sure. They're just boxing here. Okay. There is a cheers, Rafa takes a natural fuel, everyone seems to be lost in the pure fuel of the challenge, the strength and the courage making this feel like a non, like one big celebration. Chance is up one after another, but Lighter keeps winning. Just as the next challenge is about to enter the ring, a big guy shoves his way forward, pushing others aside a monkey right in. Oh. He's a monkey. Oh. So, you're Andreas. The sent by the sons of Caledon, huh? <laughs> Are you a Greek I'm god? By any chance, this brooch. with that name, or just I Greek in general? <laughs> you scared? I knew the sons of Caledon didn't deserve the title of Overlord. What a joke! Uh, hurry up, fight me or scram. <laughs> if you're afraid, say something nice to flatter me, and I, Andreas, might let you off easy. Does this brooch mean a lot to you? Of course. Pompey gave it to me himself years ago. It's my badge Pompeii. of honor in the outer ring. Despair. Or whatever. A pup like you won't get it. To wager something so precious. You must be ready to fight like your life depends on it, yeah? Huh? It's just a stupid brawl for kids. So stop sounding so dramatic. I'm not losing to you. Don't it's wager wearing like Pompey shirt. That's what that's like the same shirt, no? Oh, quit stalling. You're just scared. Trying to lighten the atmosphere. Why am I saying anything? Both of you bet something else. No need to risk something so valuable, right? What do you think, Lighter? I'll bet my boxing gloves. And if you match me with something similar, then we've got a deal. Then uh I'll match you with my gloves. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you a lesson either way. Alright. I Lighter of the Sons of Caledon, accept your challenge. Oh, he really is too dramatic, I feel like. To my big boy, this doesn't just attack recklessly, he waits for the opportune moment to strike at any weak point spots. So, if he runs lighter, quickly tricks on the Andreas fighting style. Also, as a pre even match, he's not clearly swinging lighter's favor. <laughs> not bad, kid. But I bet you learned those moves in the underground fighting pits, didn't you? Did you share any of that dirty money with your dead buddies? Or did you just blow it all? Not giving a damn. Who told you about all that? <laughs> no secrets in the world of a big shot like the champion. I've made peace with my past. Now, I only fight for the sons of Caledon. Oh, fighting for the sons of Caledon, huh? Mm. 
or using that dirty money to buy yourself a flashy job and a bunch of fangirls in the outer ring. You know exactly what I mean. Strutting around with that red scarf, it. acting all cool like a big shot. <laughs> Ooh, I'd want a gig like that too. <laughs> you and the sons of Caledon, you're just riding on luck. But you know how it goes for those flashy, lucky dogs, huh? They bite the dust and end up six feet under in the outer ring. I just have a note down. He seems to be trying to provoke light on purpose with his words. Leather walks up to Andreas, looking like he's about to finish him off. Even the referee is ready to step in. Oh, is this cinema time? Oh, but to everyone's surprise, Leiter squats down, taps Andreas on his glove, and then grabs his sunglasses from the side and puts them back on. Oh, yeah. Now we are cooking. You don't recognize the new overlord, so taking your bet doesn't mean anything. I'll give you three days. If you want a rematch, I'm game. Anytime, as many times as you want. Ma'am. Oh, hey, the sun's about to set. Who's up next? The ring returns to his previous relaxed atmosphere, and Lighter continues to win his matches all the way until sunset. After defeating Los Angeles, Lighter takes off his gloves and walks away from the crowd. Didn't think you'd stick around till the end, Proxy. I bought those raffle tickets. Of course. I bought those nitro fuel raffle tickets, didn't I? So, did you bet everything on me? Because <sighs> uh, I've worked hard to keep my promise and get you all that nitro fuel, you know? Right. Is that... Are you trying to riz? What's, what's happening here? Who else? You're the obvious choice. Who else would I bet on? But seriously, how am I ever going to finish all this nitro fuel? Come on. I went all out to win this for you, so at least enjoy yourself tonight. I promise I won't say a word to your sibling. Want to join me? Want to join me later? I've got something I need to check on first. I'll be back later. Go oh. ahead and grab your drinks from Bernice. I'll catch up if I finish early. With that, lighter leaves. Can I talk to Bernice? Hello. This brain rotter girl here. Go to the tax to redeem the coupons. She's here, oh my god. Hey Proxy. Are you here to get some natural as well? Say I could redeem my coupons with you. I see. Wow, you're a real one. All of these are in support of Lighter. How much nitro fuel? If you drink them all, the other proxy will probably get upset, right? How about you sell some of this nitro fuel? Pay and then it's as the regular price, what do you think? Oh, really? Uh, Bernice is such a great person, right? Why are we talking in third person? It's kind of weird. Bernice is such a great person. You can't say that. Back in the early days, Asmur's Sun's Card were even more out there than we are now. Even more out there. What does that mean? Take Lighter, for example. Big Daddy suddenly arrived one day with Lighter in tow. At first, Lighter hardly ever spoke to us or ate with me. Oh, and back then, he would even refuse the match fuel drinks I mixed for him. Although, as a champion, he really is perfect, but trying to interact with him is a real headache. What exactly is a champion? Where, where do you know this? Before different guys come into conflict, there is usually a testing of waters, and at that point, both sides will send someone to take the lead. This person wins, it boosts morale and intimidates the opponent. So there's an unwritten rule that the champion of each gang is always the strongest fighter in that team. Although the champions of each gang have slightly different personalities, they're usually the flashy, attention grabbing types. The champion of the Sun's card is lighter. He always wears a red scarf when he wins, so over time people tend to refer him to more as the red scarf of the Sons of Caledon. Cool. Why oh, is so much? I almost forgot. Here's the Dennis I earned from. Slinging nitrofield proxy, hold on to these and have fun. Also, if you see lighter, tell him Big Night is looking for him. Confirm. 5,000 Denny's. Bro, I was expecting like, because I want only, oh my god, like, like at least five digits, bro. 5,000. Nah. What is that? Hello? From a distance, see Lighter standing alone. His silhouette is hard to make out in the dark, but the red scarf of his stands out. What brings you here, Proxy? 
Bernice has a message for you. Bernice asked me to pass on a message when I was grabbing the nitro fuel. She said Big Daddy wants to see you. Oh, sure. I'll be back in a minute. I've got something to tell Big Daddy, too. Remember Andreas? I had a feeling something was off, so I came here to keep an eye on him. I saw him answering a phone call, arguing with someone. And then he mentioned something about the Hollow. I'm going to go back and do some digging on this Andreas guy. I didn't know you were so observant like there. I always thought you're the red scarf who steals all the spotlight. I didn't think you'd be watching what's going on behind the scenes. It's because Andreas brought up some things from my past. So yeah, I'm being more cautious. I'm pretty sure we've never crossed paths before. And I've never talked about my shady past since I came to the Outer Ring. It can't just be a coincidence that he's just talking about it now. <laughs> uh, like it's nothing. So you've had the trouble past, Liza. So it's all true. Can we probe some I information? No that you've been through so much later. Yeah, if it weren't for my past. I wouldn't be wearing these sunglasses all the time. Sure, I get lightheaded around blood, but it's mainly because of a bad eye injury I got in an underground fight. Oh, he is telling us everything, kind of. My injury was pretty severe. I had to keep my eyes covered and live in the dark for a while. Even though it's all here Name. now, if I don't keep it shaded, it feels like opening up old wounds again. And, uh, yeah, never mind. Anyway, I hope you don't mind me always wearing sunglasses when we talk. No? Ah, I always thought you were just trying to look cool. But don't worry, I'm totally used to it. Oh, he's, wow, that's like lore. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> You're funny, Proxy. How'd you become the Red Scarf Lighter? Like By the way, why did you become the Red Scarf? Because Big Daddy paid off all my debts. And I needed to repay his kindness. Plus, Red Scarf sounds pretty cool, don't you think? Okay, boy, you acting. That's just a lighthearted tone, but then he, he goes quiet, gazing at the crowd like he's listening for. If you can say anything else, his phone buzzes with an influx of messages. Hmm. It's Piper. Some guys I beat today are at Steel Tusk. They're up for a nitro field challenge. I'm gonna talk to Big Daddy about Andreas, and then go kick some butt. Oh, and Piper wanted me to tell you that the other proxy has arrived in Blazewood, too. You two should crash here tonight. The sons of Caledon will make sure you're well taken care of. Sure. Oh, and after t <laughs> tell him about how great I was. Uh, say hi for me, okay? Good night, proxy. Yeah, see you later, man. I got my mouse just disconnected. I love using this old mouse. It's the best. Piper. The old man is getting pretty sleepy. I still don't understand that trope with Piper. Like, is she actually old or what? Bell, did you have fun today? Yes. Naturally, was super delicious. You can forward the first of the day, including the part where Andres was winding lighter up. Sounds like a part of the from a few minor hiccups, everything went well. Apart from, okay, it makes sense. You guys retired after today. How about we talk more tomorrow? Yes. Good night. Chapter two. Let's go. Should you be more energized? Should you be more energized the more night you feel you drink? I just don't get how you can slump over Siltas like that. <laughs> I don't have the muscles to move you. Wake up. Nope, completely lost on cold. Looks like have you seen Lighter? No, nope, what's up? We need to move this guy out of the way. I was gonna ask Lighter to grab today's raffle oh. ticket for me, but I couldn't find him anywhere this morning. I thought you were out partying all night. <sighs> I didn't expect you to be up so early, Proxy. Do you think Lighter's in trouble? It is settlement days after all. Nah, don't worry about it. Lighter goes off by himself all the time. Nobody really knows what he's up to. Big Daddy never said anything about it, so I'm sure he's not getting into any trouble. <sighs> Maybe he'll be back in the afternoon. Well, little old me needs to go catch some ZZZs. If you see Why is she saying like that? Ah, she knew what she was doing when she said that like. Ah, she should just say... I thought she was going to say some Zs. Why she said some ZZZs. God. Nice, uh... 
name placement. <laughs> Piper walks off. Well, you said that Lighter was looking into Andreas yesterday, and he mentioned the Hollow, right? Should we go check it out just to be safe? Okay. I know Lighter isn't the reckless type, but he really looked out for me yesterday, so I can't just leave him alone. Let's check inside the Hollow and look for him. Okay, I mean. I guess. Ready and waiting. Wait, I mean, do I have to use him? Awaiting further instructions. I'm here, so we got time for another win. Ready and waiting. Let's go, ice team. Nah, let's go Caesar. Yeah. Are fighting? Take me. Okay, let's get ready. Ready and waiting. Ready for combat. With Soldier Eleven, sure. Learn the hole. You quickly find Lighter's location as a fairy scan. Will Lighter explain why you came looking for him? Uh, I'm sorry for worrying you, Proxy. I usually handle these things solo. No one really knows or cares, except for Big Daddy. Last night, I did some digging and found out that Andreas was probably goaded on by an old rival gang. That's why he showed up during settlement days, looking for trouble. Earlier today, okay. I spotted some shady new faces around Blazewood. I figured they're probably connected to Andreas and our old rivals, so I followed them into the hollow. What happened? What happened? Simply put, they're trying to use settlement days under Caesar's supervision as a chance to settle their beef and bring down the Sons of Caledon. They're setting up an ambush around Blazewood. They plan to strike tomorrow and start a full-blown fight. As you know, the town is now packed with regular people and other gangs. If the Sons of Caledon can't handle this right, people will lose their trust in us. I was hoping to figure out their route and take care of them before they could do anything, but they went poof and vanished. It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous for you to do this alone, Lighter. Yeah, but during settlement days, everyone's got their own roles to play. Honestly, I didn't want to drag you into these outer ring disputes, Proxy. But I'm glad you're here, or I would be stuck with no clues. I know solo to play the hero is a bad idea. Running off solo to play the hero is a bad idea. Well, could I ask the esteemed Faithen to lead the way now? You bet. You got it. Leave it to me. Okay, I like how she was really angry and then she was like really happy <laughs> straight away. Um, I already know how to play. Thank you very much. Wait, wait. Let's try grouping. Fuck. My grouping with lighter is hard, man. Also, this must be pretty loud. Um yeah, old enemy gang badge. It's the emblem of our old enemy's gang. Let's go after them. Please continue onwards. Why is he running like that? Items. The enemy is behind the debris. Who's who's that address? You, you went back on your word. That's not how things work in the outer ring. Pompey would never stand for this. We said from the start we'd teach the sons of Caledon a lesson, and you were all in for it. 
But you never said anything about putting the regular folks and other gangs in danger. <laughs> You're just like the former overlord. That sentimental old loser. He got backstabbed by his right hand. What a fool. Backstabbed by his right hand? But didn't you say it was the sons of Caledon that were behind it? Oh, did I say that? When you asked about Pompey's death, all I said was, why did you ask the sons of Caledon instead? You? You're all... Kill them. <laughs> Go on, keep shouting. Kill them. Soon you'll reunite with that good-for-nothing old boss of yours. This is the outer ring. Where the strong reign and the weak fall. And you guys are strong? It's Andreas. Turns out he really was tricked by them. Proxy, you better hurry. Out of the way. There's no retreat now. Roger that. I'll take you. What's your armor really worth? Out of my way. <laughs> Courage is power! Knowledge is too! There's no retreat now! I don't know why I keep doing Caesar for the chain pack. Out of my way! Move it! Wait. By settlement day's rules, you face your challenges head on, not sneaking around and stabbing people in the back. <laughs> Screw your rules or whatever. Tomorrow, those losers in Blazewood and the sons of Caledon will make their end. No, I go after smoke bombs. It's pretty to the haze. No need to chase them, Proxy. Nailing a few minions won't change much. Their main force isn't around here. If only we knew which direction they'd be coming from tomorrow. <sighs> Even if you did, what difference would it make? The Sons of Caledon will be out in full force tomorrow. With all the gangs around, some of them might try to pull something. Who knows? The Outer Ring plays by its own rules. It's all survival of the fittest. And backstabbers are a dime a dozen. Even Pompey didn't make it. And neither will your new overlord. Oh, you are so, incorrect. You know their plan? Did you hear anything I just said? If I hadn't misunderstood you guys, I wouldn't even bother explaining all this. I challenge you. Huh? You can just punch me if you're pissed. Now that I know you're not tied to Pompey's death, I'm not interested in wasting my time on you guys. If you lose, you tell us everything you know. If you win, well, I'll tell you the last words of the late overlord. You... You know Pompey's last words? Mm hmm So, will you accept my challenge? Oh. There it is. Oh. Andreas, the challenge isn't over yet. <laughs> you don't have to tell me! Take this! Courage is power! Flame fade, ash flaming. Blazing flame! Flames? Oh, baby! Heads up! There's no retreat now. Maintain fire. Watch and learn. Bro, um... Together. Okay, there we go. <laughs> After losing to light, Andreas throws the rules and spells everything he knows. Then with a mix of relief and self-depreciation, he speaks up. Ooh, man. It's hard not to envy you. You're so young, but you've already reached the top so easily. Winning effortlessly with style. And being the one everyone looks up to. I gotta admit, you're a better fit for the outer ring than I ever was. Hmm. Let me ask you something. What would you do if you found out someone was plotting against Cinder Lake and you had no backup? What kind of question is that? Of course, I defend Cinder Lake with my life, 
No second thoughts about it. <laughs> What's so funny? This isn't just talk. Cinder Lake is the pride of the Outer Ring. I'd risk everything to protect it. How does this include address touches his chest? His hand over the brooch. From the late overall, the token he kept close beneath his armor. You must protect Cinder Lake. Nothing. I'm not doubting you. Pompey would be glad to hear your steadfast response. Huh? What do you mean? It's not about who's a better fit for the outer ring. You've been here longer than I have, and your ties to this land are deeper than mine. I might have the upper hand in a spar now, but who knows who will win next time. It's anyone's game. I'm always down for a rematch, but on one condition. If you're not prepared to put your life on the line, don't bet something you see as your highest honor so easily. And just fist bumps lighter with a mix of frustration, respect, and admiration. After his aggression is finally settled. Settled. Hmm. Good ending. <laughs> I suppose. Nice. Thanks for today, Proxy. Lucky you were there to guide me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have learned about their plan. But tomorrow. Are you planning to handle this on your own tomorrow, Lighter? Well, like those guys said. If the sons of Caledon go all out on the last day of settlement days, it will look like the new overlord doesn't really command respect from the other gangs. And the folks in Blazewood might worry that the sons of Caledon's old enemies will keep coming back to cause trouble. So, I think it's best if I handle this on my own. Besides, when Big Daddy pulled me out of the underground fights, we agreed I'd deal with any old grudges and enemies from Caledon's past. Dealing with old enemies? I didn't know you had to do all that. The Sons of Caledon are still growing, and a lot of gangs in the Outer Ring are eyeing this new faction full of Caledon's legacy. Big Daddy wants Caesar to be a fair leader, and not to follow in her father's footsteps. So, there are some things only I can handle. Interesting. Hmm. Where's the payback of Big Daddy's favor? No one knows about all the stuff you're doing. Yeah, so that's... So Big Daddy wants Caesar to be like innocent and I guess oblivious to these type of things that are happening because of the Caledon name. They just want to, you know, do their own thing and be like good are people and stuff, I guess. Sons of Caledon to pay back Big Daddy? No one in the Sons of Caledon knows what you're doing for them. You're making it sound way too serious, Proxy. <laughs> I'm getting paid, so I've got to do a good job, right? You know what? <laughs> True, <laughs> actually. At least let me guide you through the hollow tomorrow. Don't be so quick to turn down my offer. After all, I'm a proxy, and it's my job to ensure my Yes, it's my time to get paid. Biatch. I to lose such an important client like the Sons of Caledon. Looks like I'll have to bring my A-game tomorrow. Can't let the red scarf of the Sons of Caledon embarrass himself in front of you. See you tomorrow, proxy. See you later. Alligator. No, first, if it's not if it's not saved, then we can get some extra help beforehand. Trust in lighter! Exclamation mark. All right, but can I just say in advance? I think things go soft tomorrow. I'm definitely calling back up. Today's been really busy. Let's go get some rest so we're fresh and ready to face tomorrow. Yes, it's time for chapter three. The unsung champion. Let's go. I figured out what their route is. Though no, there's a few more people that I expected, but it's still manageable. Because it might be a very risky few. I'm just a guy. The news will be hiding mostly, so don't worry about us. I just don't want to lose another dot dot dot. Never mind. Say it. Good what the fuck? Cross the hollow now. We should intercept them before they cause any trouble in Blazewood. Say it. Sure. Sure thing. I'll get you the shortest route through the hollow. And uh, thanks, Proxy. Already thanking me? Did I miss something? We're just getting started, but you're already thanking me? No, just felt like saying thanks. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. I would say it twice. Uh, don't jinx it. In movies, when someone says stuff like that, things always go south. Is it? <laughs> Got it. I won't say it again, but just know I mean it. Let's head out when you're ready. I am ready. Wait, go back. What's he gonna say? So I was just preparing to focus. This was a bad of a friend of mine before battles. It's become my habit as well. Comes to track, he definitely unmatches me, but I'm a little more agile and skilled. 
Those competed over whose fists were stronger, keeping track of the wins and losses. The scores at 492 to 481. I was always complaining about wanting to catch up to my win rate and surpass me. But let's not talk about that. It's been so long that I can barely remember. Are you proxy? I'm good to go anytime. X. Oh, we're gonna learn about all of that right now? Like his past with his friend that died? Probably. It's only him. Spooky. Please give me like the metal song that was in the trailer. On the cutscene. Okay, the smile, I see that, I see that. Proxy, we're running out of time. We have to stop those guys in the Are hollow. We? I'm relying on you to find the shortest route. Wait, but before that, is there any loot? Hello. Ouch. What a drag. Take the shortest route, and I'll handle any well, I once said I haven't heard anyone say that in English in a little while. Ooh, that was close. I almost stepped on Yos's foot just now. <laughs> I'd be carrying Yos if I did. Why do you guys think they're hiding? Get back here. You have to die. Target enemy has entered the fissure. The main force should be over there. By the way, Proxy, thanks for guiding me. Wait, was his like friend a proxy as well? Or what? Hey, you there! It's like there's something weird there. Can't let you pass. Whoa, hold up. Red scarf and sunglasses? You're the red scarf from the Sons of Caledon. Huh? The Sons of Caledon really think one guy can stop us? If you've got a problem with the Sons of Caledon, settle it fair and square. Don't go causing trouble in Blazewood. <laughs> fair and square? <laughs> Since when does the Outer Ring care about fair play? <laughs> I must have missed the memo. In a place like this, it's all about who's got more muscle. Only the winner gets to decide what's fair. The Outer Ring doesn't need any more pointless fights. Caledon. That's all history now. Today's the last day of settlement days. By the rules, if you've got beef, challenge us properly. So, what's it gonna be? Rules? <laughs> you guys playing house or something? Enough talk. Take this! Yeah. Kill him. Oh yes. It's cinema time. Okay. I lighter of the sons of Caledon. I'm here to issue a challenge to all of you. All of us. <laughs> what are you putting up? I bet. My red scarf. Fine. We'll stake our bad blood with the sons of Caledon. <laughs> Don't quit right away. Challenge accepted. I'll take on all of you. So bring it. Okay. That well, music was kind of lame. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, it's cinema time. Okay. 
Okay. Where have I heard that line before? That line sounds familiar. Stunning him is all great and everything, but why don't we damage dealer other than the bank build? That's kind of awkward right now. We're back. Oh my god, I got like brain fucked for a sec. I didn't know what's going on. Lighter's gonna blow, the fight is over. Oh my god. Wow, he's like ripped actually. Damn. Like, him being ripped does show a little bit through his like arms, right? But like, I don't know. I feel like it'd be nice if you could tell more. Like, his shoulders don't look that broad when he's wearing the jacket, right? I don't know. Interesting. Phew. Anyway. Or I'm just looking, you know, appreciating. I know how much work that body takes, right? I, Lighter of the Sons of Caledon, have completed the challenge as promised. Bro, why is the music so much louder? The Red Scar isn't something you can take from us. By the rules of settlement days, all your old debts with Caledon are settled here and now. Only one person witnesses this grand showdown. That it looks over. Roxy, I did it. Beat every last one of them. You sure did. <laughs> no cheers for the champion. As long as we'll ever know about this victory, but at least for now, let the sunset linger a bit longer and let the faint applause last a little bit bit more here's a victory against all odds to the unsung champion yes it's kind of like and there's like all of these stories of like there's like hidden heroes that always like come out that are happening in the background right like that it's pretty cool oh i'm so tired gonna take a breather here you're in no rush to take eos back right <laughs> not much I can do regardless. Even if I was in a rush, there's not much I can do about it, right? Well, I could uh, always lower the seat and Eos can hop on my bike and drive me back. Yeah, I don't know about that. Still cracking jokes, Lighter? Sounds like you're not that tired. 
Maybe you should join me on another commission. <laughs> uh, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please, huh? give me a break. I don't know, it's pretty intense. Not gonna lie, seeing so many of them today was pretty scary. Wait a minute. You thanked me before we went into the hollow. Were you planning on doing something reckless then? Nah, I wouldn't call it reckless. I wouldn't be betting this red scarf if I wasn't ready to put my life on the line. Mm. Why would you go that far, Lighter? Remember what Andreas brought up the other day, Proxy? It's all part of my past. Oh, here we go. Go on. I take those sunglasses. The sunset is unglaring, but he lowers his gaze. I'm being a bit uncomfortable. Because of my poor judgment, my mercenary companions lost their lives. I was filled with regret. But I knew that even giving up my own life wouldn't change anything. I took out a huge loan to support their families. Oh shit. <sighs> Those were some tough times. I see. Then the debt collectors threw me into an underground fighting ring to work off what I owed. I didn't have anywhere else to go or any other options, so I just went along with it. I was like a zombie those days. Just seeing one opponent after another under the spotlight, with nothing but cheers and curses ringing in my ears. After being there for a while, I became scared to look anyone in the eye. I was afraid of what I'd see staring back at me. Name. Big Daddy paid off my debts, pulled me out of that place, and handed me this red scarf. He called me a high-profile fighter, saying I rarely lost. He said he wanted me to keep winning for the Sons of Caledon. When I joined the Sons of Caledon, I thought it was just another boxing show. But over time, I genuinely wanted to protect everyone because I can't stand losing any more friends. Damn. I know this might sound a little arrogant, but as long as I keep winning, other gangs will show respect and fear for the Sons of Caledon whenever they see me. This red scarf isn't just a sign of victory. It's a warning to anyone who wants to cause trouble. Mm. As long as I breathe, I'll never tarnish the honor of the sons of Caledon. Night lowers his head and touches the red scarf carefully. The warm sunset is about to, sunset is about to dip below the desert horizon, casting layers of light that stretch across the skyline, shifting between hazy and clear. In this moment, extended by the fading light, Lighter finally seems to adjust the shifting shadows. Adjust to the shifting shadows. He lifts his head. I have my people and a home I want to protect. I'm sorry for making you worry, but thank you. I'm glad that besides this red scarf, you've also gotten to witness my small moment of glory. <laughs> sorry, because no one ever does. She like, he does feel kind of weird about that, but... It's just a job at the end of the day, right? I had it EOS like he said, the I guess. Thankfully, it didn't get scratched or dinged up. Otherwise, the other proxy would have been pretty pissed. You got a lot on your plate. And what about me getting pissed? I can be pretty scary when I'm mad, you know. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. settlement days are finally over. These three days really flew by. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible at changing topics later. <clears throat> yeah, well, I never know how to react when my friends are upset. Well, uh, just kidding. I'm not angry. <sighs> it's getting late. Are you heading back to Sixth Street, Proxy? Oh, I'm not trying to shoo you away or anything. Just saying, if you're planning to come back and visit the Outer Ring again, give me a heads up next time. I'll pick you up from the video store. Now that I think about it, it's always been Eels that's been riding with me. But next time, I want you to see our sunset with your own eyes. <laughs> there is, bro. Shit, he's gonna get all the females, all the female uh, players with that one. I'll tell you what. Well, great job. Today's the last day of the celebration, so this is relaxed and fun. So, Caesar, she said they've prepared tons of fancy food tonight, more nitro filled than they can drink. Yes. To our unsung champion. Lighter. What a giga chad. Okay, so what's this then? It's 
complete what? Oh, I see it's an event. Okay, so that's it for the lighter mission. Well then. But there wasn't even that many polychromes, bro. What? Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, there was. It was, um... It was okay. Nothing really happened. We found out more about lighter, but like it was just kind of like a... Um, it was a good story, but it was just, you know, like... Nothing crazy. So yeah, that was just fun. Just to get like a, a bit more background on lighter, right? And on, to be honest, it's more of the sons of Caledon. Like, the whole story with like Big Daddy, right? And like the old Caledon. Like, how it seems like they were... Just had beef with everyone for whatever reason. So now this new generation is like having to fix that. Um, but yeah. But Big Daddy doesn't want to let them know that only Lighter can like do these things. Cool. To like pay off. Because Big Daddy paid off his debt. I mean, it's like, you know, it's pretty interesting. I'm not going to lie. You know what I think about it. But yeah. Not bad. I liked it. Um... Yeah, that's about it. I'll see you in 1.4, I suppose. That'll be pretty cool. Miyabi, right? And more main story, probably, hopefully, surely, right? So yeah, I'll see you then. Goodbye.